Hello and welcome to the new series of Drishti Eyes. I am Pooja Devi, and in this segment today we are going to talk about the hazards of mining in the Aravalli region. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS Mains Paper Three. So let's begin with the topics of discussion that we are going to look at step by step. First of all, we will talk about why news. Then we will talk about the background. of what is the actual issue with the mining in aravalli range we will talk about the aravalli ranges the significance of it and mining in the aravallis we will also talk about the challenges included the way forward and in the last of the segment i am going to ask your main speech question for answer writing practice so let's begin with the topic why in news now this topic has come into news because the haryana state government has requested the supreme court of india to let it mine in the aravalli region for the minerals because the state's economy is in tatters due to the covid-19 pandemic now if we talk about mining of the aravalli ranges by the state government it was banned in the year 2002 by the supreme court in the districts of gurugram faridabad and mewat region but illegal mining were not at all taken into consideration there were sporadic news and instances of tree felling as well as illegal mining which has caused the aravalli range a lot of harm so if we talk about the aravallis look at here the map in the aravalli section here you can see the aravalli ranges which is one of the oldest mountain range which is a result of folding mountain range which is a result of orogenic process the folding so it spans across the states of gujarat rajasthan haryana and the union territory of delhi for approximately 720 km now if we talk about carbon dating it was formed millions of years ago when the pre indian subcontinent plate started moving towards the eurasian plain because of the continental drift and once it collided it resulted in folding folding basically if you can see over this region folding basically occurs when one plate collides with another plate and due to compression between these two plates the sediments which have been left out they compress themselves and because of the compression they rise in height so this is folding in gist so the aravalli range which is now a residual range has a peak of ranging from 300 meters to 600 meters now if we talk about the highest peak it's in the mount abu region that is the guru shikhar that's the highest peak and If we talk about the Aravalli range the carbon dating shows that it was formed millions of years ago and the carbon dating shows that the uh, deposits of copper were formed in the 5th century BC so that old is our Aravalli range now that has become a victim of exploitation and degradation many metals such as lead and zinc and other noble metals such as silver and copper are also found here it is basically divided into two regions the sambar sihor region that's the one region and second is the sambar khetri region the khetri region is of course very famous for copper mines it is found in rajasthan and if we talk about rajasthan it was it was only in the year 2018 when it was known by a committee which was a central empowered committee appointed by the supreme court it showed that 25% huge amount 25% of the khetri region of the aravalli ranges are in tatters they are no longer existing because of illegal mining in rajasthan in the year 1967 68 so that's a very grim picture moving on let's talk about the environmental significance of the aravalli ranges it is also known as the lungs of delhi and cr and it checks desertification historically it was said that because of its presence the thar desert could not expand to the rich alluvial region of indo gangetic plains 
Now, if we talk about desertification, desertification is a concept which means the increment in the area that expands if unchecked due to human exploitation and the region which is under the desertification area, under the desert area is not suitable for any kind of vegetation that is desertification, denudation and degradation of the soil quality. And also, if we talk about biodiversity, it is rich in biodiversity for about 300 native species of plants and 120 native species of birds are found here with another species and another animals such as mongoose and jackal. And if we talk about it also impacts climate because, because it captures the eastern flowing winds I would like to show it to you on the map. The eastern flowing monsoon winds which had to flow to Shimla and Nainita, these are captured by the Aravali ranges which causes monsoon, which causes precipitation and it also feeds the rivers which are extremely important for the catch. It becomes a catchment area very important for the region of indo gangetic plains, right? And also, if we talk about the winters, it checks the cold waves, cold air waves coming from Central Asia. It checks those winds, keeping them in check. It helps this region to stay warm, right? So, this is the significance. It also recharges groundwater because it captures the water and retains the water also releases it when there is a need so it also acts as an aquifer so this is the significance of Aravali range also now if we talk about the mining in the Aravali range as I have already told you that since the year 2002 it was not allowed for the government to mine this region but now Haryana is seeking to legalize it also, it wasn't a big it wasn't a big news or it wasn't a big hurdle for illegal mining. And because of the increase in illegal mining that is causing Aravalis to be broken beyond repair. These are the cause of human greed and exploitation. Now if we talk about the recent development, the recent development actually takes illegal mining into account as well. Now, illegal mining could be possible because of many reasons. The biggest reason is greed, profitability and encroachment occurs due to the strong political nexus between the lobbyists, the bureaucrats and the politician. And these many regions, as you can see in red, these many regions are under mining. The mining procedure is being carried on in here. So this is the entire problem. Now, Aravali Bachao Andolan, which was launched in the year 2019 to save the Delhi NCR region, the Delhi NCR region in the sense, as I have reiterated time and again, that Aravalis act as the lungs of that region. The Aravali Bachao Andolan has started again because of the request of the Haryana government that they want to legalize mining in this region. Moving on, let's talk about the challenges. First is the illegal mining. I have already told you that 25% of the Aravali range in Rajasthan is no longer available. In the year 2018, it was found out by the Central Empowered Committee, which was appointed by the Supreme Court. So, first is illegal mining, strong political nexus between the politicians, bureaucrats and lobbyists who have been in motion when it comes to sporadic felling of trees. Felling of trees is another concern of this region. Also, real estate. Why? What is the entire issue with growing real estate there? Now, in the last 10 years, the population in the Delhi NCR region, it has boomed to about 40%. So that is causing more and more demand for residential areas, 
for areas for recreation and that is why real estate is trying to encroach in that region of Ravali. Also, government inaction could be a part of it when news would arrive for some illegal mining that wasn't broken down, that wasn't broken down by the government with a heavy hand, with an iron fist. So that is another issue. Secondly, let's talk about way forward because we have to end on a positive note as a bureaucrat if you're preparing for this exam. First, we need tracking of illegal mining there, which could be done with the help of community participation and also government tracking of illegal mining could be done with the help of drones, which the government has done lately. Also, ISRO could provide satellite images of such areas which can be seen as an illegal mine and the government could take any action on it. Also, that would lead to government action. Government action in the sense there has to be policy action plus action on ground. These two should work hand in hand, then only some kind of positive outcome would be expected. Not only the government should digitize this entire process of looking into illegal mining, but also community participation should be done in order for the government to find a chain of chain of information. Now, if we talk about community participation, many residents who live in the Aravali Range region, uh, along with a very active participant, active group of activists by the name of I am Gurgaon, they are working in tandem in order to look out for illegal mining and also help to restore the ecological balance of that region. And ecological sensitization, of course, until and unless the residents and the entire group of people, I'm not just talking about Aravali here, but the entire pan-India movement could have been created in order to make people understand the ecological sensitivity of such regions, of such a treasured region such as Aravali's, the oldest whole mountain if we talk about. So this could be a proper step in the direction. Let's move on and talk about our main spaced question. Kindly note it down. You have to write what are the ecological hazards that the Aravali has been exposed to by illegal mining. You have to discuss it. So, I hope you'll practice this question thoroughly with the help of this segment. That's it for today. Tomorrow, we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.